What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be painting James' truck from Build Build Tune Race. He's building this burnout truck, uh, Bernie. We're going to be doing a quick $100 paint job on it. But before we do that, I just want to take one second and thank today's video sponsor, and that is Harry's. Special treat for you today. Uh, we have James from Beltune Race. That's James's new burnout truck that he's been building on his channel over the past couple months. And uh, I'm gonna help him get it ready to paint. We don't have any tire left. For a little rowdy. <laughs> I think it helped it out. You had a little. Uh, oh, I was in the hole. You were in the hole a little bit, but I think it, it worked out. Well, well to death. It didn't break it, I don't think, yeah. yet. So. That's good. This thing sounds mean. <laughs> so this is fuel cell. Yep. E85. Tranny, tranny cooler. Dual tranny cooler with a fan. Yep. Ooh. And you got that steering. What does this button do? That's going to be two step. So okay. I think I'll rev it to like 7,500 and then have it lower at like 5,500. Do you have to pull this off before you could pop the hood? Yeah. Unfortunately, otherwise the hole would have been too really big. It would have been real big. So. Which I'm not sure, depending on heat and stuff, if I'm even gonna run it with a hood, like in burnouts, but time will tell. It looks cool with the hood. Yeah, I like the hood. At least it finishes it off a little bit. Yeah, you need to drive this thing around town. It looks take pretty it, cool. Take it to it Sonic too. and do all that type of stuff. So, uh, yeah, this is, like I was saying, this is James's burnout truck, and uh, his plans for it are to go to like the Cleus Cars event, and just this next weekend, uh, we have the ice cream cruise in uh, Nebraska or Iowa. Uh, that 1320 is putting on. So I'm planning on taking the Civic and the Mustang to do the burnouts. On Tuesday, there's a local little burnout yep. pad here that uh, that we're gonna go mess around on. And so I think you're gonna take this and that'll kind of be a, your first actual. Yeah, like that's literally the second time I've ever even got the tires to like really smoke in this thing. Cause we haven't had any options to go do anything. The tires were too low last time I did it. So did a little one to come over before I came over here and check everything out. And now we're here, that was number two. And then hopefully next time it's actually in a pad doing Popping some tires, hopefully. Yeah, man, it sounds sounds nasty. What's the ECU setup on this thing? So it's a Holly Terminator X. Okay. So it's like a little thousand dollar ECU setup. Um, Comes with a harness being, and all yep, that stuff. With being NA, it didn't need any like boost control or anything like that. So it's literally the thousand dollar kit, and then um, it's it's working pretty good though. I think something's weird, you know, pulling out a one pipe for for the ECU is not. It doesn't love it at idle, but once it's running decent, you're just sampling out of one. So yeah, something I'm learning and trying to figure out if it works. Yeah, well, it's a cool little truck, but I mean, overall, it looks pretty straight, it's and the, there's no like rust or doesn't look like crazy major dents. Uh, there's a, a couple little things of, here and there, but a little bit of hell in the hood, which the hoods can always be replaced. That's easy, and then there's a little bit of hell up here, but yeah, not otherwise. The, the body I was pretty happy with. It wasn't too bad for, but also for just a burnout truck sliding around, getting close to walls, and doing that all the. I that got the stuff. roller for 350 bucks. Yeah. So I mean, I couldn't complain as far as like the whole front end was like in the bed and everything. And we're gonna put like a fifty dollar paint job on it. So uh, <laughs> fit the truck. Yep, he brought it over here real quick, and uh, we're basically just gonna kind of sand it down today, kind of get it uh, halfway prepped. He had some trim and stuff right here uh, that he went ahead and pulled off with the, the little wheel. We'll hit that with some alcohol or not alcohol, like the lacquer thinner. Get all that stuff off. Probably pull the tail lights, and uh, probably just spray this thing. Do a really quick single real quick. stage. I so, mean, it's gonna get beat up and like all taps and just destroyed its whole life so yeah just something that makes it look a little better than that than what it is yeah so yeah we'll just buzz off like this little pinstripe so that doesn't show up um 
couple other little things and she should be good to go. So, fuck yeah. Well, I guess we're gonna we're gonna start sanding on this thing and uh, and then we're gonna paint it. Tomorrow, I think. You like paint stuff? Oh Ready? yeah. No, I might take it up as a career. You never know. Screw all that. I think you should. <laughs> this is like the worst trying to get all yeah, the, the sticker crap off. Honestly, it's it's not like it's not painting or like sanding. It's all the little stuff that goes in. It's basically just prep. Prep work makes it makes it all happen. It makes it suck. Yeah. <laughs> so she's uh she's getting there. So we uh basically. James went ahead, went around the whole thing with uh, 180 grit, uh, took off a lot more of basically all of that uh, that adhesive stuff from the bottom, uh, the pinstripe, sanded all that stuff down. And uh, I don't know, basically uh, went after him with uh, with the 320 on the DA, uh, buzzed a lot more little stuff down, uh, blended out a couple little scratches and stuff, and then went ahead and took uh, like a red scotch bright and went in like all the wheel wells, all close to the emblems, all the little cracks, crevices, everything kind of up in the door jams wherever is basically going to get paint kind of touching it uh, we don't want it flicking off and especially like down here on the bottom scuffed that stuff up nice uh, so that the paint will actually stick so uh james you excited i'm excited that's gonna be cool yeah i mean i'm i'm pretty excited to see it, see it too i'm not i'm not excited once we get it glossy and you can see all the yeah, the hell all the hell damage stuff but it, it's crazy it's it's like really only on the top yeah, like just the, the hood and the top the hood and the top of it but like the fenders are clean. The doors are pretty clean. The the the, tail, the bed is honestly pretty nice, other than the top of it. Like, Being a bed of a truck. I mean, yeah. I mean, seriously, for like, if it didn't get held on, this would have been such a straight body. Yeah, and that's what I think. I mean, eventually, maybe you know, fix that and put a new hood on it, or maybe a fiberglass one or something. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's not like it's probably going to be then, but also it's going to get beat up. So who cares? Yeah. Well, and it's going to look good in videos, you know, and that's. Yeah. That's I'm gonna say is Way probably a little bit more important than uh, some of the other stuff. So, so what's uh, the distance on a uh, video? You know, a 50 foot or a 100 foot paint job on a video paint job. On a video, it's like two feet. <laughs> yeah. Especially if you film it on a GoPro. Oh. Yeah. Not everything looks good. Like yeah. this thing probably would look amazing look on a GoPro. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so we'll get this thing. I mean, basically, we we just washed it, pressure washed it real quick, wiped it all down. I took the like the blower, like the leaf blower up there and blasted like all the little cracks and crevices just so when we are masking it it's not like dripping um you know dripping water and stuff so uh yeah i think pretty much think it's time to pull it over in the booth and then we'll just start masking it from there yeah. and uh get it ready to go so it's gonna be a little 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 while to mask it yeah to have a bit of tape on. everything all right so this is the paint that we are using so this is uh, the alk 200 and uh, this is the white, so it's basically just it's just white is all it is. And we are using a hardener in it, and um, so that for a gallon of that is about 45, 50 bucks. Uh, and for like a little pint or whatever of the hardener, I think that's about 30 bucks. So total with with that the hardener, some little materials and like let's say masking materials and stuff, like you could probably do this paint job for I'm gonna call it 100 bucks. Like initially we were gonna call it. The fifty dollar paint job. Um, Which, if you have a lot of the stuff, like yeah. this has all just been leftover stuff you pretty much had anyway. Mm -hmm. But if you had to go get everything, yeah, it would be about a hundred bucks. And if bucks. It, you know, other than like a paint gun and a compressor, but like when everybody sits around and talks about like rattle canning, like because you talk about like rattle yeah. canning it too, but I'm like, man, if if you could rattle can something, you could paint something with a paint gun, and especially if you use just a little bit higher quality paint. Like you could go to somebody's car that they rattle canned with and like spray it with brake cleaner and it'll just wrinkle right off of it and just do a bunch of crazy stuff. Uh, whereas this stuff, it'll actually be kind of durable. So, you know, if you needed to use brake cleaner or whatever to like get off some, you know, little spots on it, it's not just gonna peel the paint right off of it. And uh, I would say that's one of the biggest thing and it has better UV protection. It's a lot glossier and you don't get all the freaking tiger stripes from trying to keep- That's like the worst. And I would say maybe probably one of the biggest things is your finger doesn't hurt. Oh, I After, could yeah. try to do a whole car. Like you see all the roll on, but like you said, like the paint's going to cost you what the paint's yeah. going to cost you. Really, if you try to rattle can a car, mm -hmm. you're going to be pretty. Oh, because in, in like a, a whole rattle can, there's only like four ounces of paint in there. So in order to do a whole yeah. car, you got to spend like, you got to get 10 cans at <laughs> least to paint a car. And then you have. And if you get good 10 cans, that, yeah. that stuff's expensive. Yeah, between six and 10 bucks a can. So there you, there you are, 100 bucks. Yep. And, your, and your finger hurts at the end of the day. So. Yep, we're gonna get this thing ready to mask and uh, we're gonna start shooting her. She's gonna look 
pretty freaking good. Hey. Yep, she's she's almost ready. Oh. James, you ready? Uh, dang, I'm so ready, dude. I'm so excited. And it's gonna look like a whole new truck. Yeah, I'm so. Yeah. Well, let's get mixing up this single stage, and we're gonna squirt some coats on it. Let's do it. All right, guys, so Harry's founders, Jeff and Andy, were actually tired of having all the hassle and expense of buying men's razors and actually finding good quality razors. So what their answer was is they actually raised some money and they actually bought a razor blade factory in Germany. And they've actually been manufacturing razors for over 100 years. Harry's makes it quick and easy. Um, they send you everything directly to your door. Let's take a quick look at what they got here for us. This is the starter kit. Comes with their shave gel with aloe. Guarantees a nice, smooth, quick shave and a high quality Razor, just like tools, guys, you gotta have a high quality razor. This thing comes with a five blade cartridge, a nice rubber weighted handle. You can tell it's a high quality piece here, guys. Like I said, they're getting those razors from that German factory that's been making them for a hundred years. Also comes with this little travel kit, keeps your razor nice and clean when you're traveling. And guys, not only are they giving you a high quality product, it's actually a super good value with these replacement cartridges starting at just $2. And what Harry's is going to do, if you guys go ahead and use the link harrys.com slash motionautv, you can get your starter set for just three bucks. So the peace of mind is going to know that that three bucks is going to get your starter set delivered directly to your door. And not only that, it's actually going to help support a good cause because Harry's delivers 1% of all their profits to help mental health with both men and veterans. So it's always a good cause to support those companies. Again, guys, go ahead and use that link in the description. Get your startup set. Go ahead and support those companies that support us. By doing so, you'll also help out the channel and everything else. Uh, we appreciate them reaching out giving us some great products as always we only use top tier sponsors and go ahead and drop down use that link and let's jump into getting that paint job done getting that started I gotta be the guy that watches him doing it. <laughs> it's pretty neat seeing it come together. I mean, he's only been in there probably, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes? Not all that long. I know I named the truck Bernie for doing burnouts, but uh, maybe I need to change it to golf ball. Cause that dang hood. That's all right, it's gonna get all messed up from all the heat and everything coming out of the pipes and all that stuff, but otherwise, look at that. The gosh dang golf ball over here. Hot in there. Looks like a golf ball. <laughs> yeah. What a difference though, still, that's, I mean. Oh yeah. Huge difference. Yeah, just seeing something one color. Yeah, definitely highlights the, the golf ballness. <laughs> like before, like when it was like flat white, you couldn't see. Not as much, yeah. And then now you're like, oh. Which I probably won't run the hood a lot on some of it, but I do yeah. like the look of it with the hood. But it's easy enough, right? Get well, a hood, spray it white, and it's real yeah. simple. Oh yeah. It's almost easier to make it white than it is to make it freaking cut all my holes and everything back in the dang thing. But yeah, I didn't know well, it was that you, bad until well, I didn't a, even know it was that bad until just now. Now you got a good <laughs> template though. No, yeah, exactly. I yeah, because you could even just lay a piece of cardboard across the whole thing and like cut out the holes yep. and then just lay it on the other thing. Yeah, and go. Just measure it and then put a little X and then a little like whoop, line, put it there, cut it, and you'd be, be good. easy enough. Oh, oh, dude. Yeah, I was scared of my freaking, like my arms, like the inside of the suit. Oh. I was, I was afraid it was gonna drip, <laughs> like, when I was like, I like felt like sweat in here. I was like, don't oh, no. drip, don't drip. But, yeah, what do you think, doing all right? I mean, it's doing all right. Covering there's, there's two little spots where, uh, I think it, I didn't like hit it with the wax and grease enough, or I didn't come back because it kind of 
did the little like fish, fish eye, eye thing. Yeah. But it was only one little spot over there, one in the front, and then one on the other door. But it's it should cover in the next coat. Normally, if you like let it kind of do its thing, yeah. and then, like dust it. So okay. yeah. So I, I think this next coat should cover everything. Hopefully, and we'll see. Not so I, I went on. back before, like some of the spots that were a little bit darker. Yeah, like um, on the bottom of the door and yeah. stuff over here. Yeah. And just kind of double, like hit it double real quick. So I didn't do a whole coat on the whole thing. So it's like one and a half in areas. Yeah, on certain stuff. spots, yeah. yeah. But yeah, it's turning out good though. I mean, for, for what it is, it's definitely. I mean, total nice time invested in painting this thing is like four or five hours. Yeah. <laughs> Which yeah, is pretty. It's not bad. I mean, maybe a little, yeah, probably about that, but. Yeah couple today's been pretty much full day yesterday was a little part day and yeah just doing little stuff gonna need to put a bunch of stickers on this thing cover up some cover some up dangles up. yeah james we, we did it man i appreciate it it's i'm excited now it's yeah a big difference yeah no it, it looks way way freaking better than it did yeah maybe we'll gotta grab a little rattle can too and just go up in the wheel wells oh yeah and just like just make it black again, mm -hmm. you know, from That's kind good, of spraying yeah. up in there, because it just touched the frame just a smidge. Oh, oh yeah, but, just to coat yeah. it off or whatever. Make it look like a like a new truck kind sure. of. Sure. Yeah. But yeah, man, Jeepers. I mean, for what it is and the amount of time that we spent on it, and especially in video, man, this thing looks <laughs> this thing looks amazing. Yep. No, I, I, like I said, I don't want it perfect because then I wouldn't want to go beat on it like I mm -hmm. need to. So. Um, I mean, really, I mean, the the hood does bother me. Yeah, it bugs me too, but the thing that is, is it's not part of the main structure, so the hood can be changed, replaced, oh, yeah. whatever at some Yeah, point. just unbolt it. I don't even know if I'm going to really run it during the burnout, so yep. whatever it is, it is. But I mean, for the most part, like the doors, the bed, I mm -hmm. yeah, A couple little dings and dents and stuff, like actual ones. But well, Like you were saying, I mean, this could have been a, this was a real one full day or two half days mm -hmm. compared to a seven day job. Yeah. If you were really trying to make it nice and for what it is, if, if we were to spend seven days made this thing, I wouldn't want to. Yeah, nobody, <laughs> nobody would want to drive it into a burnout contest. And so, again, from I mean, from back here looking down the sides and everything, especially white. Yeah. Like you said, you paint it white, it's gonna look all right. So, white hides a lot of stuff and uh, hides a lot of the scratches and all that stuff. And I think it buried all the the sand scratches in it too. I can't see any of that stuff. Right. So I'm calling the 180 and then just hitting it real quick with mm -hmm. one 320. I mean, yeah. shoot it. That little texture too on the single stage. Just... Mm -hmm. And it's not as glossy as a, like a, a base coat, clear coat, obviously. But uh, again, I think that, that almost kind of works to our favor to kind of hide some of the, the stuff kind of get, not, it's not matte. It's, it's a little bit glossier than like a semi gloss. Right. Some, oh, this thing out in the sun going to be, mm -hmm. it's going to be bright. Yeah, she freaking looks good. Looks good on camera. Looks really good. <laughs> All right, so this right here is a completed burnout truck. Still need to paint some of the front end stuff, but uh, are you excited for your first burnout? We're gonna see how it does. What are you gonna do? I think I'm gonna probably just tuck it up here in this little area because I think that's closer to what you'd have to play with, you know? Yeah, so in the burnout things you always wanna do, like use more of the pad. Yeah, to yeah. show car control. Don't let it sit there and just spin a bunch of times. Right. Try but, walking around, right? I try to think, all these cones are potholes, so do I go like in between this set of cones and that set of cones? Do I go up there? I think that's a little more area, but there's a hump in it too, so it's, yeah. it's it'll work for a test, but yeah. we'll see. Well, I'm excited to see this thing. It freaking, man, it looks good even with rain on it. Looks good, dude. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, you can see you got the tail lights in it. Race works, freaking thing. Good looking, uh, looking big.
Yeah. What is it? Yeah, that'd be Trevor's thought giveaway car. My thought giveaway car? Yeah, remember? Because he uh, thought you were gonna give it away. Tell it wasn't clean enough to give it away. So I actually ended up selling it to my buddy Justin. And uh, that's his little uh, his little new car now. So he threw some rattle can primer on it and uh, he's coming out here doing some little uh, little drift stuff with it. So Yeah, pretty cool. See it uh, see it back out and rip it. I got here literally like as soon as Derek was done pulling off track in his S14. Uh, he only brought one pair of tires and I think he he made the cord slap already. So he's gonna drive home with on those. Slapping his pretty car. Poor thing. But uh, yeah, I think I think we're pretty much just gonna get out of here for now. Just kind of came out here to check everything out. All right, James, we're gonna take off. All right, but a uh, hell of a burnout, dude. Appreciate it, man. So, Thanks uh, for the help. It looks good out there. Yeah, I mean, it looked, it looked really good doing burnout. So Get in practice again here in a few days. When we're in well, you're going to throw another set on it, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to play out, a little more. Go out and night. pop and do some of that stuff. Yeah, so, she's uh, going to do a little practice burnout for the comp out there, too. And stuff, so. You're going to do doing, one? Yeah, I'm doing the standing still. The standing comp. still. Yeah. I so. mean, you could do you could do this eventually. Yeah. I Well, I want to do it right now, but... <laughs> We got him he, need, right he here. needs practice, okay? Uh, yeah, yeah. He, he needs, needs practice. to steal the show for a while. So that's, that's all right. Fine. That's all right. So, all right, James, we're going to take off. All right, dude. Have a good one, man. Appreciate it. Yep. See you guys. All right, boys. So, that is going to be it for this video. That was James's first burnout, or at least a clip of his first burnout. And if I didn't put in the whole thing, I didn't, uh, didn't want to ruin it for, uh, for him. I didn't want to, like, you know, that was his first burnout. We'll let him, him use that content on uh, on his channel or at least save some of it. But uh, pretty stoked on how, how the truck actually turned out. Uh, again, like you've seen, it was pretty much just gonna get beat up uh, no matter what. And even, you know, already started flicking tires and stuff on uh, on the bedsides and stuff of it. So uh, yeah, I think he's pretty stoked about the truck and uh, works out really good. James is a really cool dude and, uh, and lets me play around on his dyno and do stuff like that. So it's always cool to kind of trade stuff back and forth. Uh, with your buddies and uh, so yeah I'm stoked uh, I think we're, we're still gonna try to make it out to this weekend which is ice cream cruise in Nebraska which is 1320 they're putting putting that on they're doing a burnout competition and stuff up there they're doing a burnout pit out there and uh, so I think we're probably gonna take the Mustang and since I got that two-car trailer uh, we're trying to decide if we're actually gonna take the giveaway Civic and because uh, that thing should be turboed by this weekend um, or if, uh, if we're just going to bring the yellow Civic and uh, do some of the drag racing stuff with it out there. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys want to see. Do you guys want to see the, the giveaway Civic in person, like actually turboed? We could take it down the track, do that type of stuff, and then I could do the burnouts in the Mustang. Uh, we're also talking about doing a, uh, like a limited edition jacket, like that Synthwave jacket, and only selling it in person at... Uh, at the ice cream cruise so if you guys are around there and you want that but you don't want to buy the pack to get entered for a chance to win this thing uh you know you could go come buy it and just buy the jacket by itself uh also if you guys haven't got entered to win our freaking civic we're giving away a civic every one dollar you spend on motionaltv.com is an automatic entry but you guys probably know that all right by now but uh that's gonna be it for this video guys i uh, appreciate you guys watching and uh, we'll see you later